He awoke late. It was almost ten by the time he rolled from his bunk and showered in the makeshift cubicle he directed under the nose of the shuttle. He breakfasted on the salad left over from yesterday, then rooted through the storage units for the last of the coffee. Chrissy loved freshly ground coffee, one of the many rare commodities in Europe these days. He left the shuttle and made his way through the garden, seeing the regimented rows of produce through Chrissy's eyes and feeling proud of his achievement. The sea was as sluggish as ever, scummed with a meniscus of something oil-based. Recently, his catch of fish and the occasional crab had diminished. There had been a time when the daily haul had easily fed the community of ten. Now there was barely sufficient for himself. He dragged up the net and inspected the catch. Two catfish and a baby snapper, which he threw back. It was better than nothing, he supposed, and would provide the makings of a decent lunch. He checked the desalination plant, it throbbed away contentedly, then made his slow way back to the starship graveyard. He grilled the fish, then fixed a fresh salad. When he looked up, it was almost midday. He went out and sat in his chair beneath the awning, staring out across the flat, parched landscape, and wondering from which direction Chrissy might come. He wondered, too, how she might have changed in the two years since he'd last seen her in the flesh. The comlink was no indication, with its distorting static. It was after twelve when he roused himself from his daydreams. He looked at his watch. Quarter past. In the old days, when society had been dictated to by clocks and timetables, he might have worried. But in these days of ad hoc transport systems, a delay of hours was not uncommon. It was almost one when he heard the sound of chopper blades stropping the air. He stood and scanned the shimmering horizon. The helicopter was coming in low from the north, nose down. He watched it settle about a hundred meters beyond the perimeter fence of the graveyard. A tiny figure jumped out and ran doubled up through the rotor's downdraft, waving briefly to the pilot.